Uh, take three. Okay. Good evening, everyone. My name is Colton Chasson. I'm with the University of Houston downtown in their EC to six education program development, professional development two block. And today I'm going to be reading Michael Recycle by Ellie Bethel. I thought this would be an appropriate book because, well, it's getting close to Earth Day. Today is April 20th, 2018, and Earth Day is April 22nd. So I thought this would be a good kid-friendly Earth Day book to talk about recycling and conservation and just being green. Uh, so credit where credit is due, this video came from the video itself is part partially taken from uh, Kid Time Story Time, I believe is the YouTube channel. I don't have the book myself, but they had a read aloud on YouTube. So I took video of it and am now going to voice over. So uh, the timing might be a little awkward at times. But I'm going to try to make it as uh, painless as possible. Let's give it a go and hope this time I have my sound on because the last time I did this I made a 10 minute video and the sound wasn't on. So, Michael Recycle by Ellie Bethel. There once was a town called Aberdu Rimey where garbage was left to grow rotten and slimy. It never smelled fresh, the air was all hazy. But the people did nothing, they got rather lazy. Then something happened that none could explain. It wasn't a bird and it wasn't a plane. A green caped crusader soared through the air with a colander hat on top of his hair. Oh yeah. He bounced off the earth with a thump and a bump and then landed head first in the town garbage dump. He brushed off his suit as he jumped to his feet and grinned at the townsfolk who he'd come to meet. I'm Michael Recycle, and I have a plan, but I need your help, everyone to a man. The sky and the river are smelly and brown. Soon fifty-foot bugs will take over your town. That sounds really unpleasant, Michael. What should we do about that? You've got to recycle, you've got to act soon, before all your trash reaches up to the moon. Then crushing a can, he gave them a wink, and vanished from sight before they could blink. Miss Mooncotch exclaimed to her friend Mr. Crew, Did you happen to hear what that boy said to do? Clean up and recycle, how hard can it be? A green and clean town would be lovely to see. Well, yeah, when the river's brown, they recycle their paper, their plastic and cans, and even old junk like used pots and pans. They also began the Be Greener campaign. They grew their own kumquats and saved up the rain. Kumquats, that's a hard word sometimes. So proud was the town of their green transformation, they threw a great party, a grand celebration. They covered the town in green toilet paper, then rolled it back up to use again later. You may think that's yucky, but these folks don't agree. In Aberdu Rimey, recycling is key. When Michael came back to visit the town, he didn't despair, get angry or frown. For everything looked so clean and brand new, the sky and the river were again bright blue. Look at our town, it gleams and it glitters, now nothing's wasted and nobody litters. To Michael Recycle, the green caped crusader, our super green hero, the planet's new savior. But Michael Recycle was nowhere around. He'd already moved on to help the next town. So if you should see a green silhouette streaking the skies, please don't get upset. 
the noises you hear, that clunk and that thunk. It's just our friend Michael recycling old junk. Awesome. Oh, some, uh, some go green tips from Michael Recycle. All right, well, let's see. Recycle, recycle, recycle. Find out what can be recycled in your town. Most towns offer curbside pickup for newspapers, cans, glass, and certain kinds of plastic. You might also be able to recycle styrofoam, foil, cardboard, catalogs, and magazines, and even appliances or electronic equipment. Who knows, maybe they'll even take your little brother or sister. But I doubt it. Turn it off. Turn off electronics, like TV, computer, and stereo, when you're not using it. Recharge it, please. Ask your parents to buy rechargeable batteries and energy-efficient light bulbs. Don't be a drip. Check all the faucets in your house. If any are dripping, ask your parents to fix them. I'm just going to kind of skim through some of these because the, my first take took 10 minutes when I read all of these in detail. Quick and clean. Take shorter showers unless you're really smelly. No running when brushing. Turn off the running faucet while you're brushing your teeth. Take a stroll. Whenever you can, walk or ride your bike. Maybe you can get your parents to ride along too, right beside you. Maybe. Uh, no paper trail. Reduce the amount of paper you use at home. Use this towels or rags instead of paper towels. Cloth napkins instead of paper not paper napkins. Excuse me. Write messages for your family on a wipe off board instead of a notepad. Use both sides of a piece of paper for, before throwing it out. Nice, nice. Trees, please. Trees are our true friends in nature. They keep us cool and make oxygen for us to breathe. Plant a tree in your yard or organize a tree planting party for your neighborhood or school. Or at least say thank you when you pass that big elm or maple. Don't worry, it won't bark. I had to say the pun. Can it? Don't litter. Make sure your trash is up where it belongs. In trash can or in the back of your closets. Don't know about that. Uh, pile it up. Don't throw away grass clippings. Start a compost pile in your backyard. Yeah, compost pile. That's actually pretty cool. And then you can use that to. Uh, yeah, in a few months you'll have healthy soil for your garden. Neat. Uh, so what's next, Michael Recycle? What's next? Oh, the end. All right. So that was an interesting book. Very kid friendly. Um, I think kids of, I think younger kids are gonna like that book a lot. Possibly up to third grade or so, maybe fourth. It's a simple book, it's a quick read, and it can tie into a lesson about recycling. So, so uh, there you have it. It's uh, Michael Recycle by Ellie Bethel, everyone. Nothing else really for me to say here. So I um, guess I'll be seeing you. Maybe. Probably not. Bye.